G'day and welcome to the third video in our series on Stramit Bridging. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to install the Stramit Bridging in one possible way called down the slope. Some parts of Australia prefer to install it down the slope while others prefer to install it up the slope. Either way is effective and the Stramit system is versatile enough to accommodate your preference. The only difference is in the detailing of the components to suit the direction desired. If you want to install the Stramit Bridging up the slope, please refer to part 2 of this video series. This time we start at the ridge and I'll fit a ridge bridging piece which looks like this. Notice that it has a locator at each end. Remember, the locators point in the direction in which we install the bridging. So the locators are pointing down the slope or away from the ridge. I'll adjust the turn buckle roughly to the required length. If you prefer to install the bridging from the same side, ensure that you have one of the locators rotated around so that legs face in the opposite direction. Next, I can push the locator prongs through the holes in the purlin on one side. The click is an indicator that it has connected securely. If you don't hear the click, you may need to remove it and try again. You can see the ridge purlins are quite flexible and sometimes you can push and pull them away to allow the locator prongs to enter the holes correctly. However, you may prefer to unbolt the, the locator from the turnbuckle and this sometimes makes it easier to get the two locators in position. Either way, ensure that the two locators are properly seated. And then tighten the bolts connecting the turnbuckle to the locators. Next you'll need to adjust the turn buckle so that the two ridge purlins are parallel and in line. We either open the turn buckle to push the ridge purlins apart or close the turn buckle to pull them closer together. You can use a tape measure to adjust the purlins but it's actually a lot easier to have someone at ground level eyeballing the purlins and directing you to bring the purlins closer together or further apart until they're both parallel. Now we're ready to move down the roof to the intermediate bridging. With all this strength bridging, remember that the locator prongs always point in the direction that you are installing. So down the roof slope in this case. I'll take the intermediate bridging and reach out and start the locator through the two holes in the next purlin. You should hear it click. The purlin is now captured. Next, I'll swing the bridging around and if we look at the purlins on this side, you'll see the two locator prongs from the preceding bridging. The lock on the intermediate bridging will go over the top of these two prongs. Again, you should hear it click. The bridging is now locked in place and secure. You can see how fast and easy it is to use our bridging system. I can now continue moving from bay to bay, installing the intermediate bridging until we get down to the fascia. That's what we'll look at next. Here we have our fascia purlin, and here's our last intermediate purlin. Notice that we have the prongs from the intermediate bridging in the adjoining bay protruding through, ready to be captured by the fascia bridging. The fascia bridging has an adjustment mechanism, and at the top end it has a lock. Because we came down the slope with this bridging, we require the fascia bridging to lock the system into place. We're using Z purlins and the top flanges are pointing up the slope to maximize their performance. I can maneuver the bridging in between the two purlins and rest it on the bottom flanges. Next, I'll align the fascia bridging and pop a couple of bolts through the two holes on the fascia. Now the bracket is attached securely and tightly to the fascia, I can now fit the lock at the other end to the preceding locators.
find that I can adjust this lever channel in a spatial bracket. First, that I can pull or push the bracket in or out, or secondly, twist it to get the facial pulling straight. When I'm happy, I can tighten all the bolts to lock it securely in place, and that's it. We call that the down the slope or down the roof method of installing bridging. In part four of our video series, I'll demonstrate some of the other features that make the strand bridging unique.